welcome back to seven engineers youtube channel today in this short video lecture i will guide you for one of the big mistake in the construction of lapping lens specially for plinth beam construction guys you can see this is the junction between beam and column you can see clearly they provided lapping at the wrong place and the length is about 14 inches for lapping so this is one of the big mistake in the construction of this rcc column that's why because this is about four story commercial building and they provided lapping at the wrong place next guys if you see in longitudinal bars of the plinth beam they provided the lapping look here at the distance of l by 4 where we have negative bending moment unfortunately they didn't follow the steel structural drawing but they did wrong look here and the lapping in the depth of this beam is 18 inches width is 12 inches but at the distance of l by 4 they provided lapping which length is about 1 meter 1.25 meter sorry about 4.5 feet but it's wrong that's why because this is not the proper place to provide lapping length so if you require to provide the lapping so provide lapping after l by 4 are provided at the junction between beam and column but they did wrong look at here guys the shutting is already dead which width is 12 inches depth is 18 inches they will use here m20 grade concrete which ratio is 1 ratio 1.5 ratio 3 so they should use m20 grade but i don't know maybe they will use m15 grade of concrete if you see the ring sizes here the dia is 8 millimeter hooks are bent on 135 degrees so this is best but the spacing is maximum which is about 8 inches so at the distance of l by 4 they should provide normally from 4 to 6 inches but they didn't follow the steel structural drawing they provided two steel rods at the bottom two at the top but at the bottom section of the floor beam or plinth beam we should provide maximum numbers compared to its upper portion that's why because concrete is weak in tension but it's strong in compression zone so therefore in compression zone they should use minimum longitudinal bars compared to its bottom because concrete is weak in tension so therefore we are providing extra rods or maximum numbers compared to its upper portion if you see guys again they provided the lapping at, the, at this place and where the spacing is just about 16 feet but they did two times lapping length at the junction between beam and column or at the distance of l by 4 if you are working on construction sites so especially be careful for these mistakes which i am telling you in this short video look at here the length is about 4.5 feet or 1.25 meter look at here and the dia is 16 millimeter two numbers at the bottom two in upper portion are at the top section of this beam the spacing is here six inches and here about seven inches so they didn't do properly here the column size is here 15 by 15 inches to the ground level they used here 12 number of steel rods dia is 16 mm and spacing is here up to maximum 16 feet if you see guys they provided development length so this is one of the best design especially at this place that's why because de development length is very important to make a good bond between steel and concrete they did already and the length is about 7 to 8 inches so that's great and the first stirrup should be placed with the spacing of minimum two inches they did about four inches but no problem on one side but the other side is okay which is about two inches and minimum spacing between two columns is here about six to eight feet if you see the lapping already they did at this place as i told you in many videos that the lapping should be provided by h by three distance where h is the height of the column divided by three they should provide if that is uh, so don't provide at the bottom or don't provide next to the floor level and don't provide at the middle but provide it at the height of l by 3 
hope this short video can help you to know about the steel reinforcement.